Hello beautiful Geminis, welcome to the channel. This is Irish Donna Tarot and my name is Donna Wilder Hart and I'm so excited that you're here with me today for a new love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus of Gemini. If this doesn't resonate, please be sure to check your Moon, Rising and Venus for an almost personal overview of your love life. And as always, we do personal readings, which there's nothing like a personal reading. So let's look at the overall energy for you underneath. Oh, look at you, Eight of Coins, really wanting to get to know someone, get to know all about them, very much in the mood to do the work, very strong Virgo work ethic coming into play at this time. So let's see what the mutual energy is, Gemini, for you and another. Let's in the recent past and terms of new love. Ooh, you have your eye on someone. I like it. The three of wands energy. You feel as though you know who you want to have a relationship with. That is very much Aries energy. Tiki torches, starry nights, beautiful lace leggings for your, your trip into the water. Beautiful. This it really reminds me of Hawaii. If you've never been, it's a beautiful place to go, but any beautiful, you're really in a beautiful space with someone in the recent past, Gemini. The current energy in your love life coming in is that, you know, you're willing to make a small offer. Somebody's willing to make a small offer with you, but this is very much, you're both being very conservative. You know, it's like you're going to really take everything a day at a time. So the Page of Cups is, you know, you both feeling a little bit shy with each other feeling very much like, you know, you just want to go slowly and be very gentle in your approach and love. Your person wants to do that with you. So you may be dealing with a Pisces here. So what we see in terms of your love life, uh, the way that you're viewing it and the person who persons who are interested in you are viewing it, is that you are a very loving, beautiful, kind, nurturing person. The Queen of Cups energy is deep love. It's Cancerian energy. It's, it's really about being very um, tender. It's about really loving deeply and being very emotionally connected with possibly a Cancer energy. The way you are viewed at this time is someone who is definitely going to keep their options open, that you're not going to jump into any commitment right away, not before you're ready. This is Capricorn energy. So you are very much being viewed and you're feeling the energy of, you know, I'll make a decision when the time is right. When I see someone who comes in with Capricorn energy, work ethic, somebody who really wants to settle in, somebody who's on the same page with me, I'll make a choice then. But until until then, I don't need to make a choice. And that's the message that you're emanating to the people that are attracted to you. In the heart space of people who are interested in you, they are looking at you. I love this card. This looks very Cirque du Soleil to me. The hanged man is beautiful energy. It's the people around you who want to approach you are being very careful. They understand that you are a person who knows what you want. You know the direction you're going to go in. They also know that you can't be rushed in love and that you love very deeply. That's the energy that you're putting out to the world. The hanged man speaks to that piscean intuitive energy that people want to understand you and that there's something very mysterious almost exotic about you because we see this person sort of looking at the hieroglyphics on the water so you may be dealing with a pisces who's trying to figure you out gemini what we see in terms of what's happening in your love life in the near future is the sun card that is leo energy the happiest card in the deck when i look at energies as a professional reader you know when i work with my clients the sun card to me is the most single auspicious card in the tarot deck because it speaks to the fact that your life forces are very much in harmony that both of you have a life force that's very jubilant very happy very playful and you know whenever there's a rainy day the sun will always return to the relationship what is hidden well, you have released something, Gemini. So has the person that you are attracting. You are attracting somebody that has been able to tra you know, traverse a very tricky time in their life. The judgment is oftentimes a judgment of divorce and literally a legal sense of relief and letting someone go. But it's also letting go those things that don't serve us emotionally. It's the card of karma. It's recognizing that we are not, when we do not, really do right 
in our own energy, when we don't honor ourselves and the pace with honesty that we need in relationship, that usually we make a bad judgment call, a decision, that we later have to really just release and move on. You know, to me, the judgment card is definitely, you know, it's card 20 in a cycle of 21 of great success. So it's, you know, forgiving yourself and forgiving other people for the things that have happened that really have not served you, but releasing that energy, letting go of the past, really being open to that new beginning with the world card. You know, it's a it's a journey in love and it's a very critical stage. Spirit is saying that an offer is coming in, Gemini, a very substantial offer for a new love relationship. The Ace of Coins often signifies the engagement ring. At any rate, it is the manifestation, physical manifestation of love coming in that is going to be worthy of your time and your effort, something that's going to allow you to be very happy. Your outcome card short term is that you're still working through the last vestiges of a wounded relationship. You know, you're in the process of releasing the old hurt feelings because truly when we say to a new partner, well, I have trust issues, so that's your problem that actually doesn't work. It, it really makes someone else responsible or codependent for our past wounds. And that's really, that that is resting with you. And Gemini, you know that. You've already gone through this process. So what we see with the Five of Cups is that though you've gone through probably a fairly recent, in the last two years, probably a fairly recent um, strong memory of having been very disappointed in love, having met someone that you really thought you had a future with and it turned out not to be accurate but again you're very resilient you see the wisdom you've already arrived where you need to arrive to start your new cycle with that beautiful three of wands so let's go ahead and clarify this i love this reading for you gemini it's just so grounded and down to earth and it's a powerful reading so the Three of Wands indicates you might be dealing with an Aries who's coming in to take you on a vacation or to have adventures with you. So one of the energies that's coming in around you is going to be someone who's very reliable, Capricorn energy, again, grounded earth sign energy that's coming in and they certainly want to enjoy this fun. They definitely want to enjoy deep, committed, you know, relationship that sort of like honey, I'm home, but that beautiful Cancerian energy, but willing to do the work. The Two of Swords says that both of you have been through a rough period of time. You may have even had a false start to a relationship in which somebody might have said something a little bit that was taken incorrectly or that seemed sort of somehow very challenging or difficult, but we see this beautiful Aquarius energy coming in to clear up any misunderstanding. Someone's rushing towards you with Gemini energy to mend a broken heart and to really move into this beautiful um, energy. Gemini, that's you. That's your card. Welcome to your reading. So this could be a person who's returning from the past because look at this, the number one temperance card. Now, what I will say to you is that you don't need to take anyone back from the past. This could be part of what you're releasing. So remember that just because someone comes back in a tarot reading doesn't mean you have to take them back. Sometimes you shouldn't, but this person has something very strong and very much of value to you in the release. You know, whether you release the wounds of the past to restart with them is a personal choice. And, but you can also move forward with somebody totally different. I would never advocate going back or in a situation where somebody has wounded you in a mortal sort of way. You know, it's part of our journey to forgive, right, and move forward. And the temperance card can truly mean forgiving someone and letting go of them. So when we look at the Page of Cups energy, I have goose pimples. This is such a powerful reading for you. So the Page of Cups energy, my friends, is very much, oh, the Page of Swords. So you're really looking at social media, you know, whatever you can ascertain from social media. What we see here is that 
you're looking at somebody who was possibly a lightweight or is a lightweight in love. Somebody who's coming with a, you know, we always joke as tarot readers as they have a smelly fish in a cup. And yes, they have real genuine emotion. Uh, but when we see two pages, we see somebody who's possibly a different age than you, who possibly could have a marriage in which has ended and they have children and a lot of children responsibilities. But it speaks very largely to the fact right now that your current energy in your quest for new love is really looking at people to see if they have the maturity. The Ten of Swords says that you're going to walk away from anyone and that is again Gemini energy that's you again walking away towards the Sun I might add but really letting yourself have happiness releasing yourself again from anybody who is just too immature to do the work someone who you thought was a soulmate who maybe didn't turn out to be this also speaks very much you have the lovers card the two of cups out of the first two cards in this reading, you have soulmate connection. The energy of the Queen of Wands is clarified in this beautiful relationship reading of new love is the Ace of Wands. Somebody is pursuing very hard, uh, who wants to really love deeply. This is a person who has a tendency to stick their foot in their mouth. I will say that. It's Aquarius energy, and sometimes they just say things that seem to be unenlightened. Again, oh my goodness, so now we have this person who seems a bit immature, still seems to want to hover around. Again, you know, you can take it or leave it, right? That's what judgment is all about. Taking or leaving what you want, deciding what you want, and taking responsibility for your own happiness. But the Page of Cups says that you will be receiving an apology. So that apology is very greatly appreciated by you because I see that, you know, you really did have a lot of love for this person. You still have a lot of attraction for them. They still have a lot of attraction for you. So, you know, you're going to leave this to the process of, again, you're not going to make any decision right now. You're just holding your own. You know, you're looking for what you're looking for. You're not going to settle for less, and that's brilliant. You know, if you if you want flowers, you don't go out and buy, uh, I don't know, cats and dogs, right? Or <laughs> that's a very bad analogy, but that was was where my mind went because I love cats and dogs. Okay, so we have you in your power, Aries energy. You may have a person that embodies the qualities of an emperor coming in to sort of blot out this more immature person. The Emperor card is the King of the Kings. This is a person who is accustomed to being um, the rules of society very much is what the Emperor does. So when we look at professions, the Emperor is always at the very top rungs in society. They're oftentimes in my personal readings I find to be self-employed, very successful people. They're the people that you know do podcasts on how to be successful. But they're also the CEOs, the CFOs, you know, the the, the people who really run our society. And so the difficulty with the emperor card is they sort of think they know everything. And sometimes they lack, you know, a little bit of ability to be humble. But Gemini, you are a good match for that Aries energy because you can hold your own. You're a very powerful creator. And let's see how you'll respond to this person. Let's see. Oh, the Queen of Swords. Absolutely. You are very logical. You know how to have a good uh, debate with this person. You know how to hold your own. Your person is very impressed by your ability to not be too swayed by your emotions, even though what they see about you is that you love very deeply. They see past uh, the the uh, cool, calm exterior, and they are wowed by you. They are attracted by that energy. So that's also Libra energy. You know, we get the energy of the Libra queen. Of course, we think of it as Gemini also. The communication skills are two of coins. Why is it here? That you are going to choose a relationship that is going to be a legacy relationship that is Virgo energy, somebody who puts in the work, somebody who's very, very happy to have this relationship with you. So it's pretty fantastic. What we get here is that you're not going to settle for less. We get the Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor, Sagittarius energy. The timing is right for you, Gemini, to have a great relationship. We really see you in the energy of 
being open, timing is right. And, you know, you're bringing in this energy along with the people who are looking at you of just, you know, taking your time. It does look like you are locking somebody out at this time. You know, there is somebody, and I do believe it's this person from the past, who, you know, you loved very dearly, and it looks as though you are very comfortable in the Five of Coins energy. The Hanged Man says that, you know, in their heart space, they're still in this sort of dark place. They keep themselves in a dark place. And I just get self-imposed restriction. And you're just going to pick up your beautiful Aries energy and take it elsewhere. I really see you sort of bypassing. What you really want in life is somebody who has more confidence, somebody who's more honest, somebody who's more capable of dealing with the deep emotions, a beautiful King of Cups. You may get a Scorpio, somebody who's a Scorpio. We have, uh, and then we have the Leo King also and Leo here. So you have multitudes. Look at this energy, this strength card. So I'm really getting that you're feeling very much in your power. You're feeling happy. You're feeling motivated. You're attracting good people. It does show that sometimes you have a bad memory or a nightmare or you have a moment of panic. But overall, look at you. You are the Nine of Pentacles. You are that Virgo energy doing the work, attracting what you need, what you want, single, ready to mingle. And so it really speaks to the fact that you are out for a relationship in which you collaborate with somebody who also can match you in strength. We have the Leo King, we have the Emperor. I think that we have, oh my, we have every male masculine energy on deck except for, I think, the the King of Swords and the King, the Taurus King. So we have you in this very good energy of wanting to collaborate. This is really like the card that says, well, if we have children together, you know, we're going to collaborate on parenting. It really speaks to the fact that you're going to collaborate. You're both going to be working people in terms of creating the Ten of Coins here. A lot of beautiful in-touch emotion, happiness, passion, just joyfulness and loyalty around your relationship. You have the, the ability to go the distance. Strong Leo vibe here. Very strong. A Leo may be your best match at this time. And that could be Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You might not know someone's entire chart. You probably don't. Why do we have the Scorpio energy here? I love this Scorpio energy. It's a beautiful energy of just releasing that which has been painful in your life. <gasps> Ooh, the Libra energy. The Libra energy is the seventh house. You know, you want a successful relationship and you will release what you have to to get a grounded, balanced relationship. So you could be attracting a Libra, somebody who could be a judge. Um, you know, somebody who could be in, involved with the law, lawyers, you know, anybody that works around the justice of the field of, um, of the law. And look at that. Somebody who's going to come in and do the work with you, moving ahead slowly and steadily to that Ten of Coins energy. You have the Ace of Coins with the Victory card. Leo energy again, okay? So you have winner, winner, chicken dinner. As some of our favorite uh, other psychics like to say, we all sort of match. A lot of us match that sort of saying. We get that Six of Wands energy. Your person wants to introduce you to everybody they know. They want to take you out in public. They want to make you a significant offer. You have a win in love at this time. Spirit is saying, take that leap of faith. You know, be bold, be true, and worry about the new and not the old sadness. Close out that cycle, Gemini. Close it out very successfully. And there's your new love, Gemini. It's a very exciting reading for you. And I really love to look at the journey of love for where you're at, where spirit wants to tell you that, you know, where your ascension process is at at this time. Look at this. She loves. You are falling in love. You are opening your heart. You're doing it with discretion. You're doing it with good judgment. Dance of the planet. So, okay. So I will be doing, we will be talking about um, Venus and Libra soon. So stay tuned for the dance of the planets astrologically. 
and knowing without knowing. Oh my goodness. So you are spiritually attuned. You can feel this Gemini and I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I do answer the comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.